that transformation and got nothing to say, huh? Never got anything interesting to say. What the fuck? Just some some like rando enemy. I'm already using the fucking. I just got through. Okay. This can't be. I'm supposed to become invincible. I'm supposed to have obtained the power that had nearly brought the world to destruction. It was not enough, Dark Elf. Give me more strength. Ew. What is this metal ass motherfucker? Ooh, interesting. Okay. I dig it. I dig it. Alrighty, uh, what else do we have? It lets you stand, what? Cut boom, mm. cut boss's energy by 50%, that's... And then we can't use this one. So we got ourselves a full sub tank, and now we got ourselves a half sub tank, so... What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening there? This doesn't seem all too tough so far. Oh my god! I'm missing that attack. Ah! I'm sure you're missing attacks. That's two fully charged attacks I missed. So far. <laughs> okay, I don't think I'll get him this time. Just because I suck at fucking nailing attacks. But this is like not like challenging. Oh my god! I could have had him there too! Oh, is he just invincible? Throughout this bullshit? What the fuck is. That's okay. Okay, that that time I don't mind sitting through the cutscene. That was that was just dumb. That's all of this is. I love the little pixelated fireballs.
Let's go, fucko. I don't know, that one, I guess I have to like duck underneath him? I don't know how to dodge that one. The purple ring of weirdness. Go off, King. I hate this fucking... hate that fucking thing. out of here okay so we got more than a full sub tank which I think will be depleted by the time I heal myself so we should be in the clear we should be good you would imagine if I can nail fucking attack alrighty oh, and we still got a little bit left in the tank okay I wasn't looking at my... I wasn't paying attention to my health. Idiot. Stupid ass. That was it too. That was it. Only had to use one, one full sub tank versus... Regular ass LP though.
It's cool that they give you heals. I hate this. Fucking come at me. Ah. Gotti, okay. This is this is definitely the this is definitely the game right here. It was not enough, Dark Elf. Give me more strength. So you know, a bit of a performance note here. I would just you know, I would give my give my whole strength. Uh, you know, at the beginning maybe. I don't know. Oh, I thought that was thing was like would hurt to hit. What the fuck? Is that really it? Tell me, it's a phase three. Wait, I know it took me like a few tries, but like that was that was uh generally pretty pretty straightforward. Okay. Thank you, Zero. Thank you for stopping me. You saved me. I almost did something. They can't be forgiven. Thank you so much. What are you talking about, dog? This isn't some fucking... Don't try to do a whole redemption arc in like two seconds. I was so weak-minded. I was so pathetic. Accepting your failures in life is a very difficult thing. Time to say goodbye, Zero. Tell CL, I'm sorry. What do you... What? This is... Don't act like you were being controlled. And like, I just stopped you from doing a bad thing. Me? Me? God. Pretty insufferable villain. I feel warm. Ah. Ah. Give me that trademark laugh. Oh, you turned him into a spirit? Can I have him now? Is he my cyber elf? It appears that she saved me. She's not evil. Thank you, Zero. And goodbye. Why'd you save him? He was nothing but a dick to everybody all the time. Z z zero. The Dark Elf has more character nuance and internal struggle than El Pizzo does. El Pizzo was just bad throughout. I mean, classic, like, good intention. Not good intentions, but, like, you know, one the same thing that we did, but went about it in a completely different way. So one of those, but he was, like, evil all the way throughout. Anyway, what do you have to say, X? She wasn't always called the Dark Elf. When she was born, she had a mission to save the world and had another name. However, when her ability came a threat of world destruction, they began to call her the Dark Elf. Since someone called Dr. Whale, ooh, fill an alert, place the curse on her I I feel that I know her dark elf is that the game that might be Well, okay. Well, all in all, I'd say a pretty good game. We are gonna go through and try and get all the EX skills with the fresh game so we can reset the rank. Cause our rank was like, what, C? Ugh. 
by the end of that. So we're going to see if we can uh, have an A rank from the very beginning and then maintain that throughout. I think there's an elf somewhere in there where uh, the elf, you can just activate the elf and like it'll give you an A rank for that mission. So if there's like a mission, probably like, I mean, you, ideally you'd want to save it for the last one, but if there's one where we just can't, can't get over the hump, then I guess we'll, um, we'll try to, we'll try to use the, that elf. But all in all, just a, just a, a market improvement over Mega Man Zero 1, or Mega Man Zero, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, just a great game overall. Definitely more, uh, more of a, um, more of an enjoyable story, I would say. You know, in, in the first one, it was like mostly about Copy X. And then this one, we start getting into the elf, the elf storyline, which will definitely be explored a lot more. Like that, 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 they kind of pivot the main focus of the game to the elf. And that stuff, which was like barely touched upon in the previous game, um, yeah. And the mission, just like the replayability of missions, you can get all the same elves, um, and, and just overall, the, the controls feel more refined. There aren't kind of uh, absurd difficulty spikes randomly throughout, or just or just parts of a level where you can't get past no matter how much how much how hard you try, or things that are just frustrating um, about about like long stages where and again we have the benefit of save points but without save points those you know the ones in Mega Man Zero One were just some of those were just brutal but in this one um, the, the the truly hard stuff which from the previous video you saw was, was reserved for like a couple you know four or five cyber elves were like just, just ridiculous to, to try and get but you know those are like the things where yeah, they, they should be ridiculous because it's, you know, you don't have to get them. You can just ignore them and move on. So if they're making them bonus things that you can collect, then yeah, by all means to make them difficult. And it's not like every one of them was hard. It was like, like I said, four or five of them throughout the whole thing. Just a, a super minor complaint, like we like we, we established in the in the Cyberrail video. There were two, I think there's two, at the resistance base. So we should only be missing two at this point. Um, we were missing six at the end of that video. And I believe we, I, that means we should have gotten four at the, the, the Wind Temple, the final Harpuya stage. So, there are two that are at the resistance base that, I guess, after a certain mission, it, it just locks you out of there. So, that's kind of unfortunate, just because you don't want to have to play the game through twice to, like, get all the Cyber Elves. Like, you should be able to get them the first time, and, like, you should be able to be at the final boss, or, like, the final level. You should be able to be at that spot and then go back and get everything that you previously missed. Um, yeah, honestly, besides the chain rod, I feel like the chain rod, again, it's a cool mechanic and part of me wants to say that maybe I was just bad at using it, but again, like some of the stuff was just, um, some of the jumps and stuff were like really, really, really tight. Anyway, uh, back to the story. It seems the Dark Alpha has been awakened. He 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 he. The time has come for you to take action, Omega. Well, that's Dr. Whale. He 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 Sounds like a piece with his giggles. To play the hard mode, save game, clear data, and hold L button down when you choose new game. Okay, we are not going to do that, because that sounds fucking horrible. So we'll save the clear game in the final slot. And then... Alright. That's Mega Man Zero Two. And we'll, uh, we'll pick that back up with the cleared file. We're not going to play hard mode, we're just going to play normal mode. Uh, but we're gonna try to get all the EX skills because we have all the four. We don't, we don't have all the forms, I should say. We got one form right there, the the the, uh, the proto form, I think. Um, there's some. I'm sure there's a, one of the forms is dependent on you beating the game on hard mode. And another one is. I don't know, there's probably some completionist requirement to get the all the forms. So we're missing a couple of them, but all the ones that are uh, achievable like in game, we managed to get those. Um, but by by just doing stuff in each level, we, we've managed to get those forms. Like I said, we have those two elves, which they're trivial now. They're at the base. We just have to remember to get them at the right time. So now it's just really the EX skills. Like, are you able to to go through every level um, without without screwing up? <laughs> so we'll, we'll check all that out. Uh, Mega Man Zero Two playthrough number two. Uh, too fast, too furious. Coming up next time.